We have a parallelogram ABCB. Now since it is a parallelogram, it has certain properties. The first one being opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and equal. So AB is parallel to CD and equal to CD. Similarly, AD is parallel to BC and equal to BC. Another property is opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. Then another important property is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Let us draw the diagonals and let them intersect at O. Now once we see that they bisect each other, it means that one diagonal divides the other diagonal into two equal parts. So AO is equal to OC and DO is equal to BO. Okay. Now how about if we draw one parallelogram in which all the angles are equal. A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to D and let them be equal to X. Now since it is a quadrilateral, it will fulfill the angle sum property that is sum of all angles will be equal to 360 degrees. So angle A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360 degrees that is X plus X plus X plus X is equal to 360 degrees. So 4 times X is 360 degrees which gives us that X is equal to 90 degrees. Now I will have to reconstruct it again in order to make these angles to be 90 degrees. So once we do that, we get something like this. Now isn't this shape a rectangle? So can we say that a rectangle is a parallelogram in which every angle is right angle. So a rectangle is a special kind of parallelogram but since it is a parallelogram, it has, it fulfills all the properties of parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal and parallel, opposite angles are equal, the diagonals will bisect each other. But it will also have certain properties of its own. One being that the angle is 90 degree, every angle is 90 degree. Now, another property is something related to diagonals. Let us look into it. Let's draw the diagonals, intersecting it O again. Now, if we take this triangle ADC, Let's keep it to one side and this triangle BDC, the pink one. Let's keep it to another side. If we look at these triangles, we'll see that AD is equal to BC. These are the opposite sides of rectangle. Angle D is equal to angle C, the right angles, right? And DC is the common side over here. So these two triangles are congruent by SAS, congruency criteria which gives us that the side AC is equal to side BD by a CPCT. AC and BD are the diagonals. So in a rectangle, the diagonals bisect each other because it is a parallelogram and they are equal. Okay. Now, how about we do some more modifications? We have a rectangle. What if we try to reduce its length such that all of its sides are equal? It becomes a square, right? So a square is a rectangle with equal sides? Yes. So a square is a special kind of rectangle and which actually means it is also a special kind of parallelogram. Now since it is a rectangle and a parallelogram, it will fulfill all the properties of rectangle and parallelogram. All the angles are 90 degree? Yes. The diagonals of a square are equal. Since a square is a rectangle and diagonals of rectangle are equal, so diagonals of square are also equal. Also, the diagonals of square bisect each other since it is a special kind of parallelogram. But once again, the question is, does it have any kind of special properties of its own? Let us dive into that. Let us once again draw the diagonals and take, pick two triangles. Uh, let's pick the triangle AOD and the triangle DOC. Okay. Now, in these two triangles, the green one and the pink one, AD is equal to DC sides of square, they are equal. Then AO is equal to OC since the diagonals bisect each other and DO is the common side. So these two triangles are congruent by SSS congruency criteria. That gives us this angle AOD is equal to this angle DOC by CPCT. Let these angles be X. Okay. Now since the line on a straight line, they form a linear pair. So, sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. AOD plus DOC is equal to 180. X plus X is equal to 180. 
twice of x is 180. So, x is 90 degrees. That means this AO is perpendicular to DO or we can just say that the diagonals of a square are perpendicular to each other. This diagonal and this diagonal when they intersect, they intersect at 90 degrees.